what we're gonna try is a Cubano. I love Cubanos. Yeah. Okay. All right. You know, very popular down in Miami. All right. But you don't have to be from Miami to enjoy the Cubano. Yeah, this is awesome. Okay, and here's the trick. You know, because everybody worries about mushy sandwiches at lunch, right? That's right. Okay, well, first of all, toast your bread. That gives it a little bit Always toast the bread. It makes it a little tougher, and it won't get squishy. Exactly. And then we're right. going to put a little bit of mayo. You can put more mayo if you want. But just I just a put little a little bit. A skim coat of fat That's keeps right. the bread from keeps getting mushy. Keeps the bread from getting moist. Exactly. Let me turn this off so it doesn't ah, Okay. All right, so then we'll grab a, uh, we'll find a cutlet here that fits. Lovely. All right. And then we can put some pickles. I love extra pickles, please. Thank little you. Extra pickles for you, <laughs> anything. All right. And all right, well, we're, normally we can put some cheese on there, some ham, but you know what? You can do whatever you want. You can make it as big or as little yes. as you want. Yeah, I would want ham, cheese, yeah, ham, pickles, some cheese. and maybe a little yellow mustard on the other side. Oh, there we Delicious. go. Delicious. Right. And toast it up. If, you know, and you know the other thing is, not only do you make more food than you need right. to, to help with lunch, but reuse your pans. In the morning, if you fried an egg, Toast your sandwich on the pan. It'll be delicious. And, and you're not dirtying anything extra. I love that. Yeah. That is a great tip, Jan. So, all right. Now, what are you going to do with the bagel? Cubano. And we've got a bagel here. We've got a sliced bagel. We can spread it with a little bit of honey mustard. And, you know, this isn't nothing fancy, but you know what? Lunch isn't about fancy. Lunch is about getting the kids and yourself That's out right. the door fast. And, you know, we were just saying this. You know, I have this conversation all the time with people when you're trying to get yourself or your family to eat a more healthful diet. Yep. Be in charge of the salt, the fat, the quality of ingredients. Absolutely. Do not buy prepackaged, processed you know, lunch buddies Those or whatever lunch they're kits called. Those are awful. Yeah, I they're mean, terrible. they're expensive. There's no, and there's they're no not nutrition good for you. Yep. And you know, I firmly believe that there should not be anything as such as kids' food. You know, it's That's all right. packaging. It's all marketing. When I went to school, my grandpa used to pack my lunch. I had sardine sandwiches with lots of onion every day, or the yeah. leftover <laughs> dinner from the night before. I wasn't very popular. I smelled yeah. like garlic and seafood, <laughs> but I loved my lunch. Right. And I loved that it was made with love. You know. Well, and you know what? And this we looks just, beautiful. A chicken bagel witch with yeah. honey mustard and lots of lettuce and tomato. Beautiful. So go this one to him. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> Adorable. You can put the Cubano in there. The Cubano in there with a little side of guacamole. I love that. A guac pack on a the guac side. guac pack. It doesn't brown. Oh, it's so great. Yeah. You, you put a little guac on that Cubano. A little bit of fennel. Beautiful. What do we have down here? These All are right. gorgeous. So here's... You know, one of the other tips is that, you know, you got to stay excited about lunch, right? You That's want right. the kids to eat it. You want to feel creative when you're making it. You want to feel good about what you're making. Sometimes it's the simple things that work, okay? Yeah. Switch up your bread. Get rid of the sandwich bread. Okay? I love this. This so we is did so the bagel. clever. But you know what? When you're making pancakes for breakfast, make too many. Make extra. And you make a little pancake sandwich. sandwich. It's so cute. All right. And this one's got cream cheese cream and Cream cheese jam. and jelly. Uh, let's see. What? Here we got ham and cheese and bacon. And ham you can toast and cheese that, like and bacon on cheese. leftover pancake. Are you kidding? All right. Yum. And we got some sliced apples. apples here. And you know what? If you don't want your apples to to brown, just squeeze a, a little, little bit of lemon. Squeeze the lemon juice, you know? and you're done. You can also use salt. Did you know that? That keeps them. I did not know that. I love that. Little, and I, I like a little bit of salt, salt with sweet. Yep. Yes. Okay. I love this. What is this All right. guy? You're toasting up waffles in the morning. Toast a couple extra and use them to make a chicken. A chi Whole a grilled green chicken, yes. chicken waffle witch. Exactly. And none of these took more than what, two, three minutes today? I love the whole grain chicken waffle, which, and exactly. you can do that with any leftover cutlet. Absolutely. And you know what? When Brilliant. Every week when you go to the grocery store, buy a rotisserie chicken. Even if you Perfect. don't know what you're going to do with it. That's right. You got a chicken there, you can pull off that nice lean meat and do so many things. You can make a pasta salad with it, you can make a wrap, you can. You That's can, a great investment. Bottled barbecue sauce yep. and leftover chicken. You have barbecue pulled chicken. Bottled barbecue sauce and leftover rotisserie chicken. Yep. You got pulled barbecue chicken. Right. You can put it in wraps. You put it on sandwiches. You can make a chicken waffle, which that's a great tip too. And you know what? Throw it in the throw it in the thermos so it's yep. nice and toasty. Pack a bun on the side so it doesn't get the bread mushy. At lunch, just spoon it on. You're done. Thermoses are not just for soup. No. I've I never love put, it. I've never I love put it. it in. 500 recipes and tips. 200 pictures. It is awesome. You're gonna dig it. Thank you so much, JM. Thank I love you so you. much.